Uh, the, my favorite story was somebody who was on the AV squad, you know, audiovisual nerd guys in, in high school. And they had all the keys to everywhere. And so they saw that the film was there in the library, but they weren't uh, showing it at the school because they thought also that it was not appropriate or they couldn't figure out why they should run it. I couldn't even figure out why they picked it up, that distributor, because it's so bizarre. So they broke into the school on a Saturday night and um, stole a projector, stole the film, went and um, got some beer somehow, took it to a, a guy's house whose parents weren't home, uh, set up the screen, watched the movie about six or eight times, got drunk, ate pizza, and had a great old time, and uh, Monday morning got everything back in place in the school, nobody ever knew about it. And I thought, yes, that is like the best wow. audience, you know, best story. Um, but really the best ones were when people say, uh, seeing that made me realize I could make my own movie. That I wasn't intimidated by Hollywood. I could go out and get a camera and make a movie just like you did. And I think that that's the, the best feeling. That to have helped people without, you know, not, in, not unintentionally, but not consciously, you know. Wow, that, what a wonderful experience to get that feedback. Yeah. So then those stories came from today. It's, it's a delayed reaction. It's like being Rip Van Winkle, you know. You make a movie, you go to sleep, 30 years, oh, I wonder what happened to my little movie. And it's like, um, you know, 30 years later, it's like, yeah, it's a big hit, you know. Let's, let's, let us tell you about it.